Hello and welcome to Football Fitness Federation's guide to positional priming drills. My name's Alan Mockford and I'm going to be taking you through uh, the presentation for this guide. So this guide is uh, positional priming drills and how to apply them. There's a quick overview of what we're going to go through. So we're going to be looking at uh, what priming drills are, uh, why you should be using them, uh, when you should use them, so the timings of it, individual, positional versus group and general drills, and the last thing we're going to look at is position specific drills uh, that you can assign to your players and they can carry them out and it's specific to the position. Okay, so firstly, what are priming drills? I just yeah. think that there are there are more uh, disadvantages than advantages with this particular drill. So next up, we have linear priming drills, which again has potential disadvantages, but I would categorize it as a step up from the circle priming drills, but definitely a step below from the individual primers that we are going to go over later. Linear drills are a kind of happy medium in terms of still being coach controlled. Therefore, you ensure that all your players go through a sort of conveyor belt system of having done the primers. We have a video here of Manchester United performing uh, a linear priming drill. This type of drill can still be a little bit contrived, but players have like an added motivation of another player breathing down their necks right behind them giving them a little bit of a push along the way so the drill will have the uh, intensity that you're looking for and it will be performed in an explosive manner it's a little more discreet than the circle drill as it can be done at the side of the pitch or off like near the dugout uh, so it's not as obvious to the opposition what you're up to and you're not going to give off any over signals, which is a good thing. The uh, timings as well are slightly improved uh, from the circle drill because it can literally take 30 seconds to get them done. Not much is involved in the setup. The players are in, they're doing the drills and then they're straight out again. So this is probably going to be a very popular choice because you've got the best of both worlds in terms of the coach is still in control of the drill, but it's dead easy to set up and play. You know, know, positional primers are the top of the tree. So here for your viewing pleasure are a selection of potential individual priming drills that you could assign to your players. Uh, what we've done for you is we've given each position a drill that fits into the characteristics of the role and that you can use with your players straight away so there we go uh, the first one we've got is central defender who will be performing lateral shuffle with an acceleration to header then a bit of a back 